if you were going to go out for an evening meal, which type of restaurant would you choose? Would you choose Chinese, Indian or traditional English at a pub, for example? I think I would go for an Indian restaurant. I think it's very nice to eat in at an Indian restaurant and feel the ambience and have the service and the authentic food. What would you choose to eat? Uh, for a starter, I would always choose onion barges because I love them. And what about for your main course? Uh, I like a medium strength curry, usually chicken. So I would choose uh, a Boona, a Dopiazza or a Jalfrezi. Yeah, that would be my choice. And would you have rice with it? Oh yes, I would have rice with it. Either boiled rice or pilau rice. Which do you prefer? Oh, I like them both, but for a special occasion I'd probably go for the pilau rice. And do you have poppadoms or...? Yes, I would have poppadoms uh, as a side dish to my main course. And what about naan bread? I do like naan bread, but when you're having a full Indian meal, it can be just a little bit too much. It's okay if you can share it with someone, but to have a whole naan bread, no. I think I would give it a miss on that occasion. What would you choose to have to drink with your meal? I think I would choose a, a lager or a beer, usually a small one, just to accompany the meal. Um, what would you suggest for me? I don't like strong curries. I would suggest a, a korma. Uh, that is a mild curry in a creamy sauce uh, with a, just a little hint of coconut. So I think that would be very suitable for you. I think that would be nice with uh, Peshawari naan that I like very much. And maybe I would just share some of your rice as I wouldn't want to eat too much, I think. Would you like a drink with your Indian meal? Yes, I too would have a small lager. And would you have a dessert? No, I don't think so. I think that when you go to an Indian restaurant, it's to enjoy the, the savoury flavours of the curry. Personally, I wouldn't have a, a dessert. What about you? Uh, no, I don't think I, I would. I might be tempted to have an ice cream if it was offered or some uh, fruit, but not normally. No, I think I would give it a miss. I think that normally they offer a special ice cream that's a bit savoury. I'm not sure of the name, though. Have you got any funny stories from when you've been out to an Indian restaurant? I've been to several Indian restaurants over the years, uh, but one situation does stand out for me, and that was when I went to... Uh, a local uh, restaurant in my hometown. We went with a group of friends and we sat down, ordered the meal and the decoration was fine, uh, the ambience was fine and then just as we started to eat they started to play songs by Elvis Presley on the music system and it just totally didn't fit into what we were expecting. Um, I know you like to cook at home so, which do you prefer, going out for a curry or having one at home? I do like to make a curry at home because you can uh, buy different sauces now in the supermarkets and add them to your favourite meat or vegetables. So, I do like to eat curries at home, but I would, for a special occasion, go to an Indian restaurant. And which do you prefer, to go out to a restaurant or have a takeaway from an Indian restaurant? Well, that is a good question. Like I said, I would go to a restaurant for a special occasion, but if the uh, situation arose, then yes, I would order in a, a takeaway Indian meal if it was local uh, and I knew where it was coming from. If you went out to a restaurant for a special occasion, what type of restaurant would you choose? I think I would choose a Chinese restaurant as... It's hard to replicate Chinese food at home um, with all the different dishes that you can have. Have you got any favourite dishes that you might order in a restaurant? 
Yes. Um, well, I love all Chinese food, so it's always difficult to choose something. I've actually got a takeaway menu here just to remind me of my favourites. But what usually happens is I take a long time looking at the menu and everybody else orders and it comes to my turn and I don't know what to have. So I go back to my favourites, which I always have. For a starter, I would have crispy wonton, vegetable wonton, because I really love this. And I don't really think of it as a starter and main course. I like to eat it all together. Um, so it's the experience of the whole meal. So next I would choose, uh, let's see, mushroom chow mein. Because it's a noodle dish, so it's not too heavy. And you can eat all of it. And you can never go wrong with mushrooms. Uh, would you have any uh, dessert after your meal? No, I don't think so, because I would also have prawn crackers with um, the sauce that you dip into. So I would just eat as much savoury food as I could. I don't think there's any need for a dessert. Would you order a drink with your meal? Yes, I would either have uh, half a pint of uh, lager or a pint. Depends on the evening. If we were out with a large group of friends and we knew we were going to be out for a long time, I would order a pint. As you like Chinese food so much, uh, do you ever order a takeaway Chinese? Yes, I love ordering a takeaway, especially when it's with a lot of family or friends, because you can all order different dishes and try each other's dishes. And you can order the noodles, the rice and all the accompaniments, and share it between everybody. I know that in Chinese restaurants, uh, a buffet style is very popular, where you can sample all different types of food. Uh, do you like to do that? I have done that in the past, but it's okay with a couple, if you're dining as a couple, but if you're with a group of friends, I think it, it ruins the ambience of the whole evening, because... You could be talking to someone and then they have to leave the table to go and top up their plates. And it seems like everybody's getting up and coming back, getting up and coming back. And there's no flow of conversation. I, if the food is good and you can eat a lot of different types of food and try things you've never tried before. But for a social setting, I, I wouldn't choose to have the, the buffet choice. And has there ever been a, a situation that seems uh, funny or unusual when you've been in a Chinese restaurant? Yes, years ago we took a young couple, some friends, uh, to a Chinese restaurant. And at the end of the meal, there was quite a lot of food left over. And our friend asked for a doggy bag, which means a bag to put the leftovers in which it implies that you're taking it home for your dog, but in actual fact, you're going to warm it up the next day or, or in a couple of days. And she asked for a doggy bag, and I was just so embarrassed. I had never heard anyone ask for this before. But the, the staff at the restaurant, they said, oh, yes, yes, and boxed up all the meal, different meals separately, so we went home with two bags of food, uh, everything in separate boxes, and we could enjoy the leftovers the next day. It makes sense, really, but the first time someone says it or asks for it, 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 it's highly embarrassing. In England, there are a lot of Italian restaurants. Uh, would you ever go to an Italian restaurant? I have been to an Italian restaurant, but I wouldn't choose to. Um, I think it's very easy to cook Italian meals at home. And from my point of view, the pasta or pizza is very cheap to make. And then when you go to a restaurant, it's not dissimilar from what you make at home. So it seems very expensive for the food you're getting. What about you? 
Well, pizza is one of my favourite foods, but it's not something I would go to a restaurant to order. Like you say, you can buy frozen pizzas and fresh pizzas in supermarkets, take them home, um, put them in the oven and cook them at home. And to me, that is just the same experience as going to an Italian restaurant. Having said that, I have visited relatives and we've been to a pizza takeaway. And then when you get home and you have these enormous, delicious pizzas, it's not like anything that you buy from the supermarket. It's a difficult decision, really. Have you got a favourite type of pasta? No, I enjoy all pasta and all all food, really. Um, I wouldn't say I've got a preference for pasta. I do like a vegetarian lasagna sometimes. If we went out, I would choose a vegetarian lasagna. Not that I'm vegetarian, but I think the flavours are delicious. And if you could choose some toppings for a pizza, what would you choose? Um, I think I would choose the a tropical pizza. I think it has pineapple and ham, cheese, tomato. Something refreshing, not too heavy.